Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can monetize a WordPress blog. So you might actually be someone who's thinking about starting a WordPress blog but you're wondering how on earth are you going to monetize it? Is there any money in blogging with WordPress and what steps and approaches should you take? So the good news is there are loads of ways that you can actually monetize a WordPress blog. But first and foremost, if you want to start a WordPress blog, you need a great hosted account. Now hosting can be expensive and that's why I've partnered with Hostinga to create this video. You can actually start fairly affordably your WordPress blog using Hostinga. I will leave my code up here so you can get a discount. There's also a code in the description down below. Now before I get into the nitty gritty of actually monetizing your WordPress blog, it's really important that you stay niched with your blog. Now this is important for so many different reasons and the first reason I want to speak about is search engine optimization. Optimization. So if you have a niche website, it's a lot easier to start ranking for niche related keywords in Google and to generate that all important traffic to your WordPress blog that's going to help you to monetize in the first place. As well as this, Google really like niched websites. So if you're speaking about a certain topic or you're selling a certain product, then Google will favor your website over other websites that may just reference a product or a topic once in a while. As well as this, the deeper you go into a specific topic, the more at home your website visitors will feel when they come across your WordPress blog content. So if they feel more connected to your content, then they're more likely to make a purchase and make a buying decision when they come across your blog. Another key tip to blogging with WordPress is to blog regularly. Now, the search engines will actually index each individual page that you have on your WordPress website. So that being said, the more pages and blog articles you have, the more opportunities you have to be found in search for a different keyword. So you wanna make sure that you're blogging as regularly as possible on topics that are important to whatever niche you have chosen. I also recommend to choose a niche that you're actually passionate about. A lot of times people try to choose a niche that they think will bring them the most amount of money, but they're not passionate about it. And as a result, they're going to lose enthusiasm for it. But you wanna start a blog on a passion topic or something that you have a lot of knowledge or experience in. This will help you to stick to it and to write more authentically as well. And your readers will actually appreciate your content a lot more. You also want to make sure you have an email list. So your email list is a way to transfer your website visitors into tangible leads that you can sell to later on down the line. And there's so many ways to monetize your email list once you have people's data. But think about it. How many times have you gone to Google and searched for a query, landed on a blog and never gone back to that website again? So this is one thing that email marketing allows you to do is to get people back to your website, seeing your offers consistently, and you can sell and market to them later on down the line. Now I've done videos on email marketing and I'll leave a few in the description down below, so make sure you go and check those out. So when thinking about email marketing, you want to create what's known as an opt-in form. So this is a, sh a small form that asks for your website visitor's name and email address, and sometimes you can give something away of value for free. This could be a free training, a free PDF or maybe you just ask people to join your weekly newsletter but you need that opt-in form somewhere on your website. Now this can actually show up in the sidebar of your blog articles. I also use Optin Monster as well as a little pop-up that comes when my website visitors come across my website and you might also want to create a dedicated landing page where people can go and sign up to your blog. Affiliate marketing is also a fantastic way to monetize your blog. This is when you get paid whenever you recommend a product or service as an affiliate. This is great because you don't have to stock any inventory, you don't have to build a product. All you have to do is create a link within your affiliate dashboard and you can use that link on your website in various different places and when your website visitors click on that link and make a purchase, you get paid. This can be a really great way to create passive income, especially if your niche is touching topics that are evergreen. If you're creating how-to type uh, blog articles, for example, then those articles are probably gonna be relevant for a long time moving forward. So people are constantly going to be searching Google. If you've optimized those pages well, then you will be found in Google and your website visitors will click the links and make you money passively every single month. This is one of the ways I make an income online is through my affiliate recommendations. You also have the option 
option of print on demand, which is similar in a sense to affiliate marketing in that you don't have to stock the inventory. So all you have to do is create the designs. So you create a design and you put that, for example, on a t-shirt or on a mug or on whatever product it is you are trying to sell to your website visitors. There's various different platforms that you can utilize to do print on demand. There's Redbubble, for example, and Amazon also have a print on demand service too. And I'll leave links in the description down below as well to some other platforms that you can register to. Once you grow the traffic on your blog, you may also be able to charge for sponsorship featured positions on your website and on your blog. So this could be one of two ways. You can reach out to brands that are within your niche, let them know how much traffic your blog is generating, let them know the topics you're covering, and you can get them to sponsor you. Or you can leave your email address somewhere on your website where people can contact you and companies can contact you. And if you have a media pack which explains your niche, the website visitors that you get and your target audience, then you can actually attract sponsors to help you fund your blog. So those are just a few ways in which you can monetize your WordPress blog. As I mentioned, if you're going to start a WordPress blog, you need a good host. And I recommend Hostinger who are sponsoring this video. So this is what Hostinger will look like when you go to the website. As you can see, they have hosting plans that start from £1.99. And what you wanna do is go down here and click on the Get Start button and it will show you some of their hosting plans that they have available. They have a single web hosting plan, they have a premium web hosting plan and they have a business web hosting plan. Uh, now with the premium web hosting plan you can actually get a hundred websites, you can get 25,000 visits monthly, uh, you get a hundred gigabytes of SSD storage and as well as that you get unlimited bandwidth and so much more so i recommend uh, choosing whichever plan suits you best and then adding that to your cart and then on checkout you want to make sure you go down to where it says have a coupon click on that and then type in the coupon code sam day as i've left in the description click add and you will see a reduction in your total price and when you've done that click on submit secure payment so this is what the inside of hosting guard will look like it's very user friendly and very simple and you want to go down to where it says hosting and i'm going to show you how simple it is to install wordpress if you click manage and go down to dashboard you should actually see an option to install wordpress and as soon as you click on that it will take you through the simple process of installing WordPress on your domain. So all you have to do is put your website title, your email address, your username, your password and click next and this will install WordPress. It will then take you to this section where I recommend keeping the options as the default and then you can click install. I'll leave details to where you can register for a hosting account. If you use my discount code, which is gonna be somewhere on this screen and in the description down below, then you will get a percentage off your hosting package. So please make sure you use the code and I really do appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you are planning on starting a WordPress blog, you will also need some tips and strategies to market that blog effectively to drive customers to it. And I recommend you download my formula, which is completely free. As you can see, there's a copy next to me. I'll also leave a copy somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. So make sure you click through, enter your name and email address and download your free copy now. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.